Hey, this is Brant with Vintage Statements, and today we've got this nice little, well, we're gonna call it a TV console that we're gonna bring back to life, redo, and make fabulous. So follow along. All right, so what drew me to this piece was actually the decor here on these edges and on this bottom with these nice handles. So we're gonna keep with that theme there. So what we're gonna do is remove all the hardware. We're going to fix a lot of the issues here. On the back here, there's actually a lip that used to have probably a mirror or something here. And now it's got a big gap here. So we've got to cut a piece for this. On the side, it's missing the bottom piece here. So we've got to cut a piece for that to fit to line up here. It's not going to be perfect, but I think I can make it fit and look decent. So those are the first things we're going to do is start removing the hardware and uh, building some of these pieces for it. So let's get started. We got this groove here that will, will wood putty fill and fix that. I've already cut a piece of wood that we're going to slide right in here and cut. And we'll try to make it as perfect over here and over here as possible with the design that's already there. It's a, uh, it's one of those pieces where you could throw it in the trash <laughs> or you could try to save it. And well, we're going to try to save this piece and see how it comes out at the end. So I've already uh, drilled in some spots, made some spots where the heads can go down so I can fill those over so you won't see those. And well, we can start screwing it in now and we'll start working on the sides and start wood puttying after that. So let's get started. What we did is we've cut just some old wood to create this space right here for it. It'll stick out a little bit, but I'll sand down a little bit of it too. I think that'll give it a good look just for a uh, spare piece here. So we're going to go through, put these on, start wood putty in, let that dry, and then we can start our sanding. We got it all torn apart, we've fixed the spots, we've woody puttied, and we're letting that dry. So as that's drying, we're going to sand down our drawer fronts, our doors, frame, and then we'll start working on that top last. And then, if we need to fill any other spots with wood putty, we'll catch that, or any spots that still need additional wood putty at the top, we'll fix that. Maybe we'll have to do two coats on that of, of sanding. So. Let's get to work. 80 grit sandpaper, DeWalt sander, and I got a face mask. So let's get started.
dryer. Brant just finished sanding because I don't do that. And um, I had to come out because he like, seems to be really liking black and white <laughs> lately. So we're going to add some color and some vintage statements. You guys, you should always try to have like a little pop of color in your guys' house. Um, it just makes for fun statement pieces or just, I don't know, some smiles. So um, we have the golden um, black paint. It's kind of like a, like a green teal color. Um, so we're going to paint everything. And get going just making sure he tapes it off right so you don't have to paint the inside Like she's got the two coats on what we're gonna do is scuff it all up <laughs> on her I like that vintage look now some of you can stop at this step take the tape off start putting the piece back together but here at vintage statements we're gonna scuff them up give it a worn in look drawers frame I'm gonna use the old sandpaper that we used to sand the piece down and well we'll go from there Is completed gorgeous color slightly scuffed and well I think this will be a pretty cool TV console or some other living room piece <laughs> if you like this piece and many of our others subscribe to our channel like us on Facebook and Instagram leave us a comment about the color or the piece <laughs> <laughs>